Welcome to the Maintenance Factory. Today we're going to talk about some real basic electrical symbols that you need to know about. So stick around. So once again, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to spend a few minutes talking about some real basic electrical symbols that you should know about. So if you find yourself getting some value as we go along, please click the like button down below. Earlier in the week, I was talking to a mechanic and we were trying to solve an electrical problem and I drew out some symbols on the board, one of which was a, a control transformer. So this guy commonly does mechanical tasks and he wants to increase his knowledge of electrical uh, circuits and his skill set around electrical circuits and troubleshooting. And at the end of our conversation, he said, man, if you hadn't have told me that that was a transformer, I wouldn't have a clue what that is. So that's prompted me to create this video. And there's many basic and fundamental things that I wish to cover. And today's going to be one of those days. So I've got a video out about the basic principle of operation for a motor control circuit. I'll leave a link in the description below. And I'll also leave a card at the end of the video so you can go watch it. But before we go get into motor control circuits, we probably should have talked about uh, some of these symbols. So let's get to it. So the first symbol that I want to talk about is the transformer itself. And this is a transformer symbol. Uh, the two bars uh, denotes that it's an iron core transformer. This is a transformer. Transformer. There we go. And transformers have two primary sections and one's called the primary winding and the secondary winding and in that video that I talk about uh, there is a four to one ratio transformer with 480 volts on the primary side and it steps down to 120 volts on the secondary side so could be many different voltages many different varieties but this is a real simple um, single phase step down control transformer. So the next symbol that I want to talk about is some fuse uh, or some circuit protection and this is a fuse fuse and then another form of circuit protection is a circuit breaker and we'll just abbreviate it circuit breaker. So fuse circuit breaker. The next common symbol is a normally open push button. So normally open push button and then another common symbol is a normally closed push button. So normally closed push button. All right, so you'll notice that uh, normally open push button, you have a contact point on the top of these terminations. And on this one, you have it actually physically connected to it and it's on the bottom side. Sometimes these will have an arch on the top and that signifies that it is a mushroom style push button, much like an E-stop. And this right here, normally open push button, may look like this green start button that has a normally open set of contacts. The next thing to talk about is a normally open contact and a normally closed contact. The normally closed has a strike through in it. So this is normally open. This is normally closed. So normally closed set of contacts may exist on an overload or a relay. I've got a relay here. You may see a combination of these uh, that represent contacts on a relay. Uh, the next symbol that we should cover is probably the contactor. So let's do a three phase contactor. Contactor. And it's three phase because there's three sets of contacts and they're normally open. This is the symbol for an overload. Uh, this is a three phase overload also. The video that I spoke about earlier, uh, in that video we talk about a three phase motor starting circuit, control circuit. So it has all of these, or most of these, um, symbols in that drawing. So now we have a three phase contactor, a three phase overload, and now we need to include the three phase motor motor and it's also three phase so we have a three phase motor three phase overload and three phase contactor 
the overload provides circuit protection similar to the fuses and circuit breaker to the motor and the contactor provides power to the motor and that happens when the coil is energized so a coil looks like this and the coil is uh, actually inside of a contactor here's a contactor three-phase contactor there's a coil inside of it and it makes it actuate so I think there's only one more really important symbol that we're missing and that is the ground symbol so the ground symbol looks like this and there's really three basic ground symbols this is probably the most uh, I would say it's the most common one in use especially in the world of industrial maintenance and automation and controls there is also another ground symbol that looks like this and then one more that looks like this <clears throat> So if you were to read an electrical schematic that's in a um, industrial control facility or an industrial setting, you may see a ground symbol that looks like this. If you are looking at an electronic uh, schematic or diagram, you may something see something that looks like this or this. This actually means chassis ground. This means signal ground. And again, the most common one is earth ground. And it's kind of used um, in an overreaching sense. So just because it looks like this doesn't literally mean it's earth ground on a lot of schematics. It's uh, misused in a lot of different settings. But anyway, the most common will be this one and probably the second most common will be this chassis ground symbol. So anyway, I hope you got some value out of the video. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. I ask that you subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and then you'll be alerted to the next time that we put out some new content. And I may put a blooper at the end of the video also. <laughs> so I'll see you again next time. Controls and his skill set of electrical controls. There is a freaking ladybug in here. Are you kidding me? Just when you thought that you were about to make a video trying to educate someone, you have a ladybug that interferes with what you're doing. <laughs>